A plan for Ishmael. Before this story, we learned about Abraham and how he told King Abimelech, Sarah is my sister, to protect himself. He took her, but God warned him in a dream and restored Abraham and Sarah. Now we will learn about how Abraham and Sarah will have a son named Isaac, just as God promised, inspired by the book of Genesis. Abraham was a hundred years old, and Sarah was ninety years old. At last, the promises of God were realized. After months of an unexpected pregnancy, Sarah gave birth to a son. The promised Son of God emerged from the once barren womb of Sarah. Abraham named him Isaac, which means laughter. A suitable name, since Sarah's old age had made it impossible for her to have children, yet nothing was impossible for God. Sarah rejoiced, saying, God has made laughter for me, and everyone who hears of this will laugh over me, for I have had a child in my old age. Isaac grew older, and when he was weaned, Abraham held a great feast in his honor. During the feast, Sarah noticed that Ishmael, the son of her servant Hagar, was scoffing at Isaac. Ishmael, no doubt feeling jealous and unloved, looked upon Isaac with contempt. Sarah erupted with anger and once again lashed out at Abraham and Hagar. Banish this slave woman and her son, for the son of this slave woman shall not be heir with my son Isaac. Abraham grieved over this. Though Ishmael was a son born from disobedience, he was his son nonetheless. Distressed and frustrated, Abraham looked to God once again. Be not disheartened because of the boy and his mother, God said. Whatever Sarah says to you, do as she tells you, for I have chosen Isaac to be your heir. Yet I will not forget Ishmael, and I will make a great nation out of him as well. So Abraham did as the Lord and Sarah had asked. He packed water and food and sent Hagar and Ishmael into the wilderness alone. Abraham, who had spent years raising Ishmael, said his final goodbye. The two wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba, slowly losing water, food, and hope. The days grew longer and the nights colder. Thirsty, starving, and alone, Hagar had lost all hope. She let Ishmael sleep under a bush and walked several yards away. She could not bear to watch him die, so she would abandon him altogether. Hagar, as she did before when in despair, lifted her voice to heaven, and God, as he did before, heard her. Fear not, for I have heard the voice of the boy where he is. Up! Lift up your child, and hold him fast with your hand, for I will make him into a great nation just as I promised. Soon after, Hagar discovered a well filled with water. The two drank, regained their strength, and found a life for themselves. God continued with Ishmael. As he promised, he showered Ishmael with grace, giving him talent and a warrior's spirit. Hagar would do right by her son finding him an Egyptian wife and helping him start a family. This would be another sign of the steadfast love of God working in family brokenness, restoring all things to make them better.